Greetings family. So this is going to be a little bit shorter than the last one that I, the last video that I did or the last live I did. So one of the things that you can do in order to remain grounded and calm is to be mindful of the stories that you tell yourself about yourself. There are times when we will do we will have an experience with someone or with ourselves and we begin to tell ourselves a story that is completely fabricated and made up by the mind. However, because we feel that we are adept at reading what it is that thinker, people are thinking and feeling and whatever, whatever the may case may be or whatever perceptions that they have, especially, you know, especially now that we have uh, the ability to text people and communicate with people. Now, mind you, I'm going to say I just like text, you know, um, it, unless it's just simply for informational purposes, but I do dislike them in terms of having long conversations because I do not find that it is the most effective form of communication. And a lot of times we will attach a meaning to what is being sent to us. And oh my goodness, don't let <laughs> autocorrect <laughs> mess you up. <laughs> in terms of what it is that somebody is trying to share with you. And then we tell ourselves a story. And then sometimes we get angry about the story that we, we tell ourselves. Or, you know, we get our feelings hurt because we tell, well, tell the stories that we tell ourselves. Or we feel that, you know, or we feel that we are being judged because of the story that we tell we told ourselves about a situation that may have been completely nonverbal. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of us, you know, that is perhaps like the first thing that we do know. So we may be picking up on cues, but sometimes because people have different experiences than you do, uh, you may not be actually accurate about what it is that they are thinking and feeling. And it is best if they're willing to be honest with you. It is best to actually ask them, well, what it is to, you know, what is it that's going through your mind right now? Or what is it that you're really trying to communicate? I want to be sure about my understanding and comprehension of it because it's, it's just really it is best to ask them or if it is through text it's just best to give them a telephone call or see the person face to face in order to get a better understanding of it uh, of what it is that they're wanting, wanting to share and why is this a powerful a uh, powerful form of creating more calm and tranquility because it, essentially what you're doing is you are going beyond that story because our minds come quite honestly will make up stuff but uh, but you are getting to the truth of what really may be uh, being communicated we, we do it all the time. We make up story about stuff all the time. And and I say this because I've done it myself. <laughs> now, now I have made a practice of actually asking more questions, asking them, well, what thought did what thought did just run across your mind right then? Or what is it that what is it in what I said, you know, seems it seems to have gotten you edgy at least this is my this is my experience of this is my experience of what I'm having with you please just just try to illuminate illuminate me and a lot of times what you may be seeing has absolutely nothing to do with you <laughs> it doesn't it has to do with their idea and their perception of what is going on. Case in point, I was in, uh, I had a business partner uh, a number of years back 
and we were in a place of just getting to know each other. And one of the things that I used to do is I used to repeat what a person is saying. And the reason that I was doing this is because when I would repeat what the person is saying, I was actually anchoring in what it is that they were looking to communicate with me. And my what happened was <laughs> and to this day he doesn't agree with how my assessment of it but this was my experience of him but he started getting angry with me because I was repeating repeating what he was saying and he says to me you know he was like why are you repeating everything why are you repeating everything that I'm saying do you think I'm stupid or something and I looked at him like he had just about lost his mind, lost his mind because he he was telling himself a story that I was thinking that he was stupid. And I looked at him, you know, completely perplexed <laughs> and said, you know, um, no, I'm just... I'm repeating what you're saying because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm listening to what you're saying and it allows me to remember it and to anchor in the information. And then all of a sudden, you know, that angst that I saw in his face just completely just melted away. Like, oh, oh, okay. You, you know, you're, you're just trying to remember what, I'm, what it is that I'm saying. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I... I don't understand what just went on there. Later on, I I came to find out that uh, what was happening was that his mother, his mother used to did not like to repeat herself, and so when she had to repeat herself, he would get chastised for it, severely chastised for it. And so he spent a lot of time trying, just working on having people only say things to him once or him having to say things to people once. But when he realized that he was not necessarily reliving that experience with me, that I was just solely repeating what he was saying in order to remember, it dissipated. But that was a story that he had told himself. Um, and mind you, that was another person, but I've, I've done things where I have told myself a story and, and it may not necessarily be true because people are operating from their own experience. They aren't necessarily, necessarily making any particular judgments about you. They just may be going through their own going through that own, their own tape or story that they are telling themselves about their their themselves and they are you just may have pushed on a button anyway that is it for this evening again make sure that when you are talking with people and you find yourself feeling some kind of way about what they're saying just ask them you know you know, this is my experience of what you're saying. Is this your intent? And see what happens. And I promise you that it will most likely provide you with a deeper understanding of not only yourself, but the other person as well. So that you can create more harmony in the world. Anyway, May peace and power follow you wherever you go. Good night, family.